Bruce fan. I am Greg Sussman, joined today by Tom Vecchio of FanDuel. We're here to take a look at his favorite bets for the NFL division winners. What's happening, Tom? I'm doing good. You know, we looked at some players over the past few weeks. It's time to take a step back and look at some at, look at some teams from the uh, the macro level. So let's go a bit wider. Let's get rid of just the players because it is not an individual sport. It's a team sport. So let's start off in the NFC North and tell us who you like there. Because Aaron Rodgers still plays for the Green Bay Packers, and you can still get the Packers at plus money to win this division, plus 190. Yeah, the Packers are coming in as the second overall favorite behind the Vikings, which I'm a little bit surprised about. You know, we know the Packers had, I would say, an interesting offseason. A lot of people expected them to uh, pick up a wide receiver in the draft or in free agency, which they didn't do. They drafted a quarterback. They drafted a running back. Uh, but they had 13 wins last year. And, you know, despite not picking up those offensive pieces that Aaron Rodgers wanted, their team is largely unchanged. Their defense is still good. It's not amazing. It's not terrible. Their offense can still move the ball. They had 13 wins last year, and they're sitting as the second overall favorite behind the Vikings, who, you know, lost a few pieces on defense, lost a few pieces on offense. So I'm sitting here wondering why are they at plus 190? And if Aaron Rodgers is still there, Devontae Adams is still there. I'm taking the plus money for the Packers at 190. I get it. Aaron Rodgers isn't what he used to be. Nobody wants him in fantasy football anymore. But with the Packers, this is a team that was in the NFC Championship game a year ago. Like, let's not forget that. I understand it wasn't pretty. It was all Aaron Jones. I, I know that. But plus 190, man, to, for this team to win the division, that, that doesn't seem like too much to ask for, especially with Mitchell Trubisky, still a quarterback, one of the teams in the NFC North. Let's move over to the NFC South, where all of the rage is Tom Brady, Bruce Arians, and this Tampa Bay Buccaneers team. And you, sir, are buying the hype when it comes to the Bucs at plus 160. A lot of hype around the Bucs this offseason. And if you look at their strength of schedule, they are sitting at the 11th easiest per Warren Sharp. Uh, good schedule for them to get to play the Panthers twice a year, the Falcons twice a year. Those games should be great from a fantasy environment, but... We're looking at the Bucs. We're looking at them adding pieces seemingly every week. They got McCoy. They actually got Leonard Fournette last night. The offense should be one of the best in the league. And, you know, despite the fact that their defense might not be, be too strong, I'm still banking on the offense. And, sure, they have to go head-to-head -head with the Saints for that division title. But we're getting the Bucs at plus money. So I'm banking on Brady for just one or two more years, banking on Gronk, like I said, comeback player of the year a few weeks ago, and that very strong offense in Tampa. And let's not forget about that Todd Bowles defense that was really good down the stretch last year. Now you add Tom Brady to the vertical Bruce Arians offense, and somehow everybody loves Leonard Fournette now after two days they're dancing on his grave. I'm in, man. You're getting the box at plus 160 to win the NFC South. A moment ago, we talked about how the Green Bay Packers were in the NFC Championship game, and nobody remembers that. The same goes for the Tennessee Titans, who were in the AFC Championship game against the Chiefs and winning. Some say they should have won. And now everyone wants to write them off again. But why? I don't know. There's no other good team in this division. With Bill O'Brien training away, his best player, and Jacksonville existing. The Titans are plus 165 here to win this division. And it's a bet you have to like. Absolutely. They actually come in second in the to win the division overall behind Indy. And, you know, Indy added uh, Phil Rivers. They have a great offensive line. Let's not forget about that. They added some pieces on offense, Jonathan Taylor. They have some young receivers. So I'm still a little skeptical about that offense being very efficient to start. We know the Titans. They re-signed Henry. They re-signed Ryan Tannehill. They didn't make too many changes overall, kind of similar to the Packers. We're getting them at plus money, and also, according to Warren Sharp, they have the second easiest strength of schedule based on Vegas win totals. So we're getting, yeah, Titan style of offense, which is kind of ground and pound, but they were there last year. Uh, they're at plus money now, and they get to play the Jags, like you said, twice a year. So I love the Titans this year, making the playoffs, winning the division, and probably going head-to-head -head with the Ravens or the Chiefs again. It's a matchup I think we're all excited to see once again. If we can get there, the Titans... Uh, second to win this division behind the Colts, obviously the team I left out purposely because, you know, it kind of go fit the narrative. But the Tennessee Titans with Derrick Henry and, yeah, believe it, Ryan Tannehill, plus 165, a solid bet to win the AFC South. There you have it. That is today's FanDuel. Hurry up, Tom. We appreciate the time, man. Good luck with these bets. Same year. We'll see you next week for the start of the season. I cannot believe it. It is officially here. Tomorrow, I'll be joined by Jim Sonis. The chat, well... About something, but I will mention Leonard Fournette. That's a promise to you.
all watching. For John Vecchio, I'm Greg Sussman. We'll see you tomorrow for another edition of the FanDuel Hurry Up.